Ella, known to her sisters as the Whirlwind, was one of the bravest and most agile warriors of the Amazon. Her name, meaning Whirlwind, was given to her for the way she moved in battle, fast, unpredictable, and powerful, like a sudden storm sweeping across the plains. Ella's strength did not lie in sheer force alone, it was in her speed, punning, and her ability to read her opponent's every move. She was like a dancer on the battlefield, her twin axes spinning in her hands as she charged forward, fearless determination. The story of Ella's great battle began shortly after Hercules arrived in the Amazon lands. He had come on a mission from King Eurystheus of Tyrans, tasked with retrieving the magical girdle of Hippolyta. When Ella stepped forward, there was a hush among the Amazons. She stood tall and fierce, her long hair flowing like a dark river down her back, her armor gleaming in the sunlight. She wore no helmet. She wanted Hercules to see her face and know who he was up against. In her hands, she gripped her twin axes, weapons she had wielded since she was a young girl. They were sharp, well-balanced, and deadly. She had trained with them every day, mastering the skill of wielding two weapons at once, a rare and difficult art that few could perfect. As the battle began, Ella moved quickly, circling around Hercules, her eyes fixed on his every movement. She knew that to defeat him, she would have to be quicker and smarter. Hercules, strong and powerful, was not used to facing someone like Ella. He swung his club with force, trying to catch her off guard, but Ella was too fast. She dodged and spun, her axes flashing in the sunlight, striking at Hercules' defenses, looking for any weakness she could find. The two warriors fought fiercely, their movements a blur of speed and strength. Ella darted in and out, her axes whirling like wind blades. She struck at Hercules' side aiming for his arm, his leg, always trying to keep him off balance. Hercules was surprised by her agility and her relentless attacks. He had never faced an opponent quite like her before, someone who moved with such speed and skill. For a moment, it seemed that Ella had the upper hand. She landed a few blows, her axes striking Hercules' armor with sparks flying. But the hero was not easily defeated. Hercules, realizing he could not overpower her with strength alone, began to change his tactic. He watched her movements closely, trying to predict where she would strike next. He saw that Ella was relying on her speed and agility, moving quickly from one side to another, never staying still for long. Hercules decided to use this to his advantage. He pretended to be slow, to tire, drawing her closer, making her think she had the upper hand. Ella saw the change in his stance and thought this was her chance. She darted forward, her axes ready to strike, but it was a trap. In that instant, Hercules swung his club with incredible speed, catching her off guard. The blow struck her side, sending her crashing to the ground. The Amazons watching from the sidelines held their breath. They knew Ella would not back down, not even against a hero as mighty as Hercules. She took a deep breath and charged again, moving even faster, her axes whirling through the air like a storm. She was determined to make every strike count. This time, she aimed higher, swinging her axes at Hercules' shoulders and head, hoping to catch him off guard. Hercules, now wary of her speed, blocked her blows with his club using its broad surface to deflect her strikes. He could feel the strength in her arms, the power behind each swing. For a moment, he wondered if he had underestimated her, if he had misjudged her spirit and skill. Ella was not just any warrior, she was an Amazon. Her heart was filled with the courage and pride of her people. But Hercules was a seasoned fighter. He waited for the right moment and then struck again. This time, he aimed for her legs, sweeping his club low, knocking her off balance. Ella stumbled, her footing lost for just a second, but it was enough. She had fought bravely, all her might. She knew her time was running out. She looked up at Hercules, her eyes fierce and unwavering, and spoke her final words. A message of defiance and pride for all her sisters to hear. I fought with the heart of an Amazon, she said, and I fear no man. Hercules, despite his victory, felt a deep respect for Ella. He had seen many warriors in his life, but few had fought with such spirit and bravery. He knew that Ella's death would not be forgotten, that her name would live on among her people as a symbol of Amazonian courage. He laid her down gently, acknowledging her valor with a silent nod understanding that he had faced not just a warrior but a woman who embodied the very essence of the Amazon spirit. Ella's death was a great loss to the Amazon. 
She had been one of their brightest and bravest, a warrior who had never hesitated to face danger. Her courage in challenging Hercules, even knowing the risk, became a legend among her people. 